there is new UI system in Unreal Engine 5. It's called Common UI. And it got much better gamepad support. So let me show you. For example, when I create UI widget, I get automatic focus for my gamepad. And I can navigate between buttons automatically with my gamepad stick or D-pad. Uh, I create another widget and again I get out of focus and I can move between widgets automatically also with my gamepad. Uh, if I don't want to move between widgets, I can deactivate one widget and now I am restricted only to one widget. I can activate it back and move around. Also, it works seamlessly with mouse and keyboard. So I can shake my mouse and now I can deactivate or activate and again shake my uh, gamepad stick and here we go. So it all works automatically by default. Very cool. Uh, now, next thing we have in common UI is a layer routing system. So I can create widget stacks and push widgets inside of them. So this is first uh, widget inside stack. I push another widget on top of the stack and you can see only topmost widget is visible on screen. I push another widget on top of it. Again, only topmost widget is visible on screen. And now I can remove it from top and automatically I get previous widget in the stack. Remove this one, I get very first widget in the stack. So it's an easy way to create very deep hierarchies, like menu hierarchies in your project. And it's very easy to do. It's like one node to push widget in the stack and one node to remove widget from the stack. Everything else is done automatically. So I can push, 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 push. And now I remove, 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 remove. Very, very convenient. So another thing we have in common UI are uh, these uh, new UI elements, like this analog slider. I can use it with my analog stick and my keyboard and my mouse. And it works with everything by default, automatically. And there are a lot of new elements. Uh, let me show you. Here they are. So you just type in common in the search bar and you have this uh, all this new UI widgets. So let me show you how to uh, set it up. And, and we will uh, create these two widgets with automatic gamepad focus and navigation. And we also will create this uh, widget stack. And I will show you how to push uh, widgets into it and can, how to remove widgets from the stack. Let's, okay, let's start. First, we need to enable common UI plugin. So we go to edit, plugins, search for common, and enable this common UI plugin. And then we restart Unreal Engine Editor. Uh, then we go to project settings, uh, to engine category, and general settings. And in this game viewport client class, we select common game viewport client. Uh, that way, Common UI will be first to get inputs from gamepad, mouse, and keyboard. And also you'll need to restart Unreal Engine Editor again after this one. Okay, great. Now let's create common UI widget. So we, so we create blueprint and select all classes and search for common activatable. Uh, here it is, common activatable widget and select it. Let's call it UI my left widget. Uh, open it up. Let's put it in the main window. And you have this common activatable widget as parent class. Okay, let's add canvas. Then we add border and vertical box and we add text. This is going to be our title. And let's add two buttons to vertical box. Uh, here it is. Let's rename it. You can press F2. Button open another widget. Widget. And this button is uh, close all widgets. Button close 
all widgets. Uh, right, let's add text to them. Text. Okay. Oh, this one's open another another widget. And this one is close all widgets. Now, now let's move border to uh, middle of the screen. Set anchors to middle. Reset position. Set size to content. Change uh, brush color to black. And give it a bit of transparency. 0 0.5. Okay. Uh, also adjust alignment to be 0 0.5. And let's move it to here, to left side of the screen. Position X minus 300. Now also let's... And uh, change text to uh, left widget. Left widget. And increase size to 48. 48. And... And I guess let's add a little bit of padding to buttons. Uh, select both buttons and let's add five to padding. Okay, now let's create the right widget. We close this one, uh, duplicate it, and call it my right widget. My right widget. Open it up and let's mm, move border to plus 300, just just 300, and and let's change title text to right widget, right widget, and let's change button to uh, this is going to be button that deactivates another widget. Let's call it call it this way. Deactivate, de deactivate another widget widget and this one gonna be activate another widget button activate another widget and let's change text on the buttons uh, so this one deactivate deactivate another widget another widget and activate another widget activate another widget. Great, compile and save. Now let's add them to viewport. Uh, open our character. Uh, I will do everything here, but you can put it in like uh, player controller or game state anywhere really. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it here for convenience. So let's create these widgets on begin play and save them as variables. Begin play. Create widget. Let's select my left widget and save it as UI UI my left widget. And let's create second one. Let's copy this and paste it. It's gonna be my right widget my right widget and save it into variable ui my right widget compile and save now let's add left widget to viewport when we press one on keyboard let's select keyboard one and let's drag left widget here and add to viewport and since this this is new uh, type of widget we need to activate it also to get focus uh, we can drag from our widget and we get this activatable widget you know category and you can activate and do some other stuff let's just activate it for now and let's try it out Compile, save, play, and I'm pressing one. Here we go. We have our 
uh, widget on screen. But right now I'm uh, pushing my uh, left stick on gamepad and nothing happens. We don't have gamepad focus. How do we get focus? Uh, we have to tell widget where we want to focus gamepad by default. So open up my left widget and go to graph and we have this functions category select override and select get desired focus target and as focus target is basically button or an, another element that's going to be focused first so let's we can add any button we want so this button open another widget is this one button open another widget this one we can do it with any button or with any other element now we compile and save and let's try it again hit play i press one on keyboard and i try to use my gamepad and here we go i get automatic focus on new widget great now i forgot to do one thing let's go to our third person character and uh, after we activate widget, uh, let's also set UI mode to UI only and uh, show mouse, mouse cursor. So we get player controller, get player controller and set input mode uh, UI only. And also let's show mouse cursor, player controller show mouse cursor to true uh, this will allow us to have seamless switch between gamepad and mouse cursor so we can use mouse or gamepad at the same time whenever we wish let's just test it out for a moment compile save and play so i press one on keyboard and try my gamepad it's working and i try my mouse and here it is it works uh, okay great now let's add interaction to buttons so we go to our widget uh, to event graph and we select close all widgets button and on clicked it will it will deactivate this widget we're inside my left widget so this button will deactivate this widget and remove it from the viewport so let's deactivate widget and let's remove it from the viewport from parent right and also we need to uh, change input mode to game only so we change it to ui only and let's change it back to game only so we get player controller and set input mode to game only and we have to hide mouse cursor let's set show mouse cursor to false okay so when we click button close we deactivate widget, remove it from parent, and set mode to uh, game only. Compile and save, and let's test it. I press one on keyboard, and close it. Great. Press it again, and now I'm trying my gamepad. It works. Great. So now let's put right widget on the screen. Uh, we already created it here, uh, so let's. Uh, put it on screen on this button press we should open my right widget so let's do it here okay let's select button open another widget uh, add on clicked event and then we get this variable from third person character so uh, we get player character uh, cast it to bp third person character cast to bp third person character and now we have access to this variable my right widget so now we activate it and add it to viewport and 
and we add it to viewport to viewport so make sure they both are connected to my right widget one is activate widget and second one is add to viewport compile and save and let's test it out we play uh, I'm pressing one now I'm pressing this button and here we go we have our right widget let's try gamepad now when I'm moving gamepad stick around nothing happens I don't have focus so let's go to our right widget and add focus and we go to functions uh, click override get desired focus target and just drag any button we want uh, which one is top deactivate another widget let's do this one so we drag deactivate another widget and connect it to here compile and save and let's test it out pressing one now i'm using my gamepad let's open another widget again and i have automatic focus on the widget and also i can move between widgets automatically with my gamepad stick very cool now let's close both widgets when we press close widget button so we go to uh, my left widget and in here uh, we will get my right widget again from our character and my right widget and convert it to validated get so if it exists uh, we will close it if it does not exist we will ignore it uh, so let's remove it from parent and deactivate it Ctrl C, Ctrl V and connect widget to nodes and here we go this is uh, remove right widget compile and save hey this is message from future so I made a mistake so do not use validated get to check on that variable because it will fail if if a button another uh, if that button wasn't clicked yet so it will fail so instead of that uh, just use this is valid check connected to third person character itself and then connect the activate widget directly to UI my, my right widget here and it will work without any errors okay please continue and let's test it out so I open my first widget then I open another widget and then I close all widgets great now let's add interaction to my right widget buttons so open it up move it to main screen so we have deactivate another widget and activate another widget okay we go to graph uh, to event graph and then we then, then we click on button deactivate another widget and add event on clicked and from here first we will need to get left widget it's in my player character here it is and then we will have to deactivate it so let's get player character uh, cast it to third person character cast to third person character and from here we get our left widget left and on this button click uh, we deactivate it deactivate it okay let's test it out uh, play I'm pressing one and now I'm opening another widget with my gamepad and let's deactivate another widget but I still can move to it why is that so we need to bind 
uh, widget behavior to activation state. So we can do it in my left widget in designer. We click on the root element and in here we have activated visibility and deactivated visibility. So when widget is deactivated, we want it to be non-hit testable. So we cannot select buttons in it with our gamepad or with our mouse. And on activated visibility, we want it to be visible and interactable. Uh, now com let's compile and save. And let's test it out. I'm pressing one. Uh, let's let me use gamepad. Open another widget. Now I can move between widgets. Let's deactivate left widget. And now I am restricted to right widget. I cannot uh, go to left widget when I'm pressing left uh, with my stick or with my D-pad. Also, let me try my mouse. And mouse also cannot click on this deactivated widget. Now let's activate it with this button. So we go to right widget and we select this activate another widget button and add event on clicked. And again, we get uh, UI my left widget, UI my left widget, and convert it to related get, connect it to button, and if it's valid, then we will uh, activate widget, activate widget. Uh, let's try it out, compile and save. Hey, another message from the future. So, uh, same thing. Do not use validated get because it will cause an error. Instead, use is valid check on third person character. Okay, bye. And play. Pressing one. Now I'm using gamepad. Open another widget. Move around. De deactivate widget. I'm restricted to write widget only. And now I activate another widget. And now I can move between widgets again. Now it's already working. Uh, let's just add a little bit of transparency to left widget when it's deactivated. And uh, make it fully visible when it's activated again. So we go to my right widget. Now we drag from my left widget. set color and opacity and change it to 0 0.5 okay and connect it so when we deactivate widget we also set its color to black and opacity to 0 0.5 let's test it out pressing one opening another widget deactivating left widget and here we go but also it looks like we change color from default so let's see default color is white so let's keep it as white uh, click on it set it as white okay and compile and save and test it out and pressing one open another widget deactivate here we go looks great and works all right so when we activate another widget we also need to change color and opacity to default state to make it fully visible so let's do that uh, go to my right widget and and copy past this and connect it to my left widget and change opacity to one okay test it out Now, when we deactivate widget, it's transparent. When we activate it, it's visible. And let's try doing it with gamepad. Uh, deactivate, activate, deactivate, activate. Wonderful. Now let's save. And let's look at it again. Go to full screen 
and I forgot something. So how do I open this widget from my gamepad? Uh, let's do this now. So uh, we go to third person character. Look at this. Uh, when we press one on keyboard, uh, let's add a gamepad button here. We right click and search for gamepad special left. So this is uh, back on my gamepad. On, on some gamepads, it's like select or something. So it's a small button on the front of the gamepad. Uh, so let's add this to here. And now we can press either one on keyboard or special left on gamepad. And we will get our widgets. Now I'm gonna use my gamepad and press this select button. And here we go, I have my widget and I can navigate it with gamepad and I create another widget and I can navigate between both widgets. And if I deactivate left widget, I'm restricted to moving only inside right widget. And if I activate left widget, again, I can move freely. And my mouse is also works uh, same way. So I can activate or deactivate. Very cool. Uh, now let's save. Okay, now let's use widget stack to create pause menu with several pop-ups. Right click and create blueprint and search for activatable widget. Common activatable widget. Let's call it UI my stack container. Open it up and let's add canvas and let's add widget stack to it. Common activatable widget stack. You can actually have several stacks at the same time. So one stack for HUD, another stack for system menus, uh, another stack for like inventory and crafting windows and so on. But I will use only one stack in this tutorial. So we will push menu widgets in this stack. Uh, let's rename it to my stack my menu stack and compile and save and let's drag this into main window and we can close uh, left widget and right widget okay so let's put this stack into the viewport so we go to uh, our character blueprint uh, look for begin play and let's add sequence sequence so first thing we did was create two widgets left and right and now we after that we will create our uh, stack container well, let's do that create widget stack container ui my stack container and let's save it into variable, promote to variable, and let, let's call it UI my stack container. And also from that container, let's get my menu stack. We get my menu stack and promote it to variable. Like this compile and save now when we press uh, two on keyboard we will create a stack container so let's say two keyboard and 
and we get a stack container and add it to viewport. And we activate it. And also let's set input mode to UI only and show mouse cursor. Just control C, control V. Okay. Compile and save. Now, right now, nothing will happen because it's empty. So let's create pause menu to put into our widget stack. Right click, blueprint class, search for activatable activatable widget common activatable widget and select it we call it UI my pose menu open it up let's add canvas border and vertical box And now text this is gonna be our title. Let's change text to pause menu, pause menu, and increase size to 48. Now let's add buttons. Well, this is gonna be a resume button, and this is gonna be how to play button, this is gonna be settings button, and this is gonna be exit button. So let's rename it button button resume and button how to play how how to play and button settings button settings and button exit exit and let's capitalize resume for consistency well it's not capital Uh -huh. I'm going to capitalize you one way or another. All right. <laughs> That's how you capitalize uh, button name. Okay, let's put this uh, menu in the center of the screen. Uh, select the border and set it to center. Reset position, size to content. Uh, change brush color to black and give some opacity. 0 0.5 uh, set alignment to 0 0.5 0 0.5 and let's add text to buttons text 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 this is resume Uh, this is uh, what is how to play. How to play. This is settings, settings, and this is exit, exit. Now let's compile and save, and and let's wrap our buttons into another vertical box to make them smaller. vertical box and move them into new one Shit. Okay. okay and now we can set vertical box to be centered great great so we have vertical box then we have our title and inside of it another vertical box with our buttons Compile and save. Let's add a bit of padding to our buttons. Select them all and let's make it five. Great. Compile and save again. Okay, now let's add this pause menu to our widget stack. So we go to character blueprint. And now we already have stack in the viewport, but now we're going to push pause menu 
into this stack and you have to push not in this uh, like root element you have to push in this stack element common activatable widget stack so let's get this my menu stack uh, we created it here my menu stack and we drag from it and we can see this uh, new categories so this is for stack we can push widget or get active widget so let's push widget in the stack and now we need to select uh, widget we're going to push and let's select my pose menu my pose menu compile and save and let's test it out so I press 2 on my keyboard and you can see it uh, way in the corner uh, so let's fix that uh, we go to my stack container and we see that stack is uh, in here in the corner so let's make it fill entire canvas panel uh, go to anchors and click this and then reset offsets actually let's set offset to zero and now it should fill entire canvas compile and save play I press 2 and here we go we have our pause menu and we created it by by doing this by pushing widget to the stack now we want to create this, this gamepad button as well so let's add uh, special uh, gamepad special right this is start on my gamepad it might be something else on yours so, uh, two small buttons on the front of gamepad so when we press two on keyboard or this start button on gamepad we will uh, add stack to viewport and push pause menu to the stack let's try it out I'm pressing start and menu appears but I can't navigate with my gamepad so we need to add focus to this menu we go to pause menu go to graph go to this functions category and click over right and select this get desired focus target and add a resume button for example can be any button compile and save let's try it again I'm pressing my start on gamepad and now I can move around widget with my stick and with my d-pad great so now let's create how to play pop-up right click blueprint class search for activatable common activatable widget and select and we will call it UI my how to play open it up again let's add canvas uh, then we'll need title text and two buttons so let's add border for background and add vertical vertical box and in the box we'll put text for title and another text for description of how to play and two buttons button one uh, we create another pop-up button two we close this widget and go back to previous one let's rename buttons button open pop up pop up pop up one and this button is button uh, now let's add text to them text 
text and change text. Open pop-up one. This one is close. Now let's move this to center of the screen. So select border, set anchors to center, reset position, change alignment to 0 0.5, size to content, uh, change brush color to black and uh, alpha to 0 0.5. Let's change this text to title, so how to play, how to play and increase size to 36 and this text is gonna be description how to play one do this shift enter to do that shift enter to uh, go to next line and do everything and do ev every everything everything <laughs> okay now let's give padding to our buttons. Mm, let's say five. And uh, let's give padding to our border. Well, it's actually going to be padding for our vertical box. So let's make it uh, 20. Okay. So compile and save. And, and now we go to pause menu. And when player presses how to play, we need to push this how to play into the stack right so let's do that you go to my pause menu graph uh, event graph select how to play button at event and now we get our stack from here my menu stack and push into this widget how to play so to get this stack uh, we can cast to our character and get this variable, my menu stack. So we get player character, cast to third, by third person character, and from here we get my menu stack. My menu stack. Here it is. Now we push into it, push widget, and in here we select our my how to play, my how to play, connect them, and let's test it out, compile and save, and play. So I press start on my gamepad, navigate to how to play, press it, and here we go. We got our widget, but again, I don't have gamepad focus on this new widget. So let's add focus. Uh, we go to how to play, graph, and functions, override, get desired focus target, and drag our button. Connect them, compile and save, test it again. Press start, how to play. And we get automatic focus for our gamepad. Click buttons, great. So now we go to my how to play and let's select close button and add event. And on click, let's deactivate this widget. So we right click and deactivate. Compile and save. And let's see what happens. I press start, I press how to play, I press close, and we automatically go back to first widget in the stack, to this pause menu, very cool. And we can do it again, how to play, close, how to play, close. So now let's create pop-up number one, blueprint, activatable, common activatable widget, select UI my pop up zero one. Open it up, and it's just going to be some text and two buttons. 
you know what we probably can just uh, duplicate this how to play widget so let's do that i will go and delete my pop-up there one and just duplicate my how to play select it duplicate and i will call it my pop-up zero one open it up let's uh, change text pop-up one and change this text up there one it's cool right oops it's cool. <laughs> uh now now these buttons uh this button gonna be uh opening pop-up number two uh and let's change text pop two and this button gonna close pop-up number one go to graph so we already have our button close great uh, so inside how to play we want to open pop-up one go to graph and open pop-up one uh, at event on clicked then we go to my pause menu and steal some code so, <laughs> uh, we'll copy past all of this Ctrl C, Ctrl V, connect it, and change this uh, activatable widget that we're gonna push into the stack into my pop-up one. My pop-up one. Okay. So in my how to play, when we click this open pop-up button, uh, we get our stack from player blueprint, and then we push my pop-up one into the stack. Compile and save. Let's also compile and save pop up one. And let's try it out. I press start on my gamepad, go to how to play, and go to open pop up and press pop up one. And here we go. We have pop up one, and it's cool. And if we close it, we go to previous one. And, we, and if we close this one, again, we go to the first one in the stack, which is very convenient. Uh, now we don't have pop-up 2. I guess let's do pop-up 2 uh, and it's going to be our last one. We just duplicate pop-up 1, duplicate it, enter. Let's rename it, uh, change text to pop-up 2, it's pop-up 2 and it's also cool uh, <laughs> and we will remove this open pop-up to button or maybe you can do pop-up three four and five <laughs> if you want to and let's go to the graph we already have button close uh, deactivating this widget great so we can just compile and save and we had and we had gamepad focus bound to button we just deleted. So let's change that button. Go to graph, open get desired focus target, and change button to button close. Delete this one. Compile and save. Great. We need to push this pop-up two into the stack in when we are in the pop-up one, right? So uh, Again, let's copy past stuff from how to play. Get this. Control C. Uh, when we press open pop up two, we add event. And in here we control V. And we push our widget into the stack. And let's change this to pop up two. My pop up two. Compile and save. And let's test it out. So I press start on my gamepad. We have our menu. I select how to play. And now I open pop-up one. 
and now I open pop-up tool and now I deactivate it and deactivate it and deactivate it and that's it now how do we close menu uh, resume button is not working yet so let's make it working we go to pause menu and and this is our resume button button resume so we click on it and add event and in here what do we want to do we want to deactivate this widget pause menu and then uh, this widget will disappear from our stack but also we need to set input mode to game only and hide our mouse cursor let's do that uh, go to pause menu after we deactivate widget uh, we get player controller set input mode to game only and drag again from player controller and set mouse set show mouse cursor to false and connect and let's try it out compile and save press play now I press start press how to play close resume and I'm back in the game again I press start how to play open pop-ups doing stuff close everything resume game and I'm playing again pretty cool and and also let's try our mouse controls so if I if I'm playing with my keyboard and mouse I press 2 and now mouse appears and I can select how to play and open pop-ups and close them whenever I wish and when I resume I'm back to the game very cool now we have this warning when I pressed 2 or start on my gamepad uh, UI my stack container was already added to the screen so why that happens uh, because in here we add our stack container to viewport but when we resume game but when we resume game we do not remove it remove it from the viewport so either we need to remove it from viewport here or we need to check if it exists already check if it's added already to viewport so uh, let's just remove it from viewport so we need a UI my stack container go to uh, pause menu and and we get player character and what is called UI my stack container UI my stack container here it is and we remove it from parent remove from parent here we go oh right and we need to connect cast so don't forget that so uh, when we press resume in our menu we deactivate pause widget uh, we set input uh, mode to game only uh, we hide key we hide mouse cursor and we remove stack container from viewport compile save and let's test it out uh, press start we navigate around menu and press resume great and now we don't have this warning anymore let's save so now we have created two examples of common UI in our project first one is this two widget example with a common navigation and with the activation and with activation and second example is this widget stack with a deep hierarchy of widgets 
and that's pretty cool. Good job.